News early last week of the decision to pause Johnson & Johnson. The vaccine has some people in Iowa reconsidering whether or not to get vaccinated. Since the announcement, the state has seen a decline in numbers willing to get a shot. ABC 6 News reporter Brett Backley explains. There's a growing hesitancy among North Iowans about the coronavirus vaccine. Vaccine hesitancy is beginning to become a real factor. Now nearly half of all county health departments statewide are suspending their shipments of the vaccine. We took half of what our allocation could have otherwise been because the demand's not out there. Including in Cerro Gordo County, where Brian Honeft is public health director. He says he doesn't have enough arms willing to take the shot and doesn't want to jeopardize any future allotments. We don't want to take 800 doses and only administer 500 of those doses because we don't hit an 80 percent uh, allocation. Um, expectation. This week, 43 counties have declined some or all of their vaccine allocation for next week so that supply doesn't exist, um, exceed the current demand. The state of Iowa sending Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg to Sioux City, where a majority of these counties are clustered. On Friday, Gregg getting his vaccine while hosting a clinic in hopes his appearance will convince more Iowans to get vaccinated. It's going to take probably months. But one issue still remains as demand drops, vaccine waste. It's not good news to be wasting doses in north central Iowa, southern Minnesota, uh, when you have those doses could go in arms in underdeveloped countries. So. We have to make the best use of our doses as possible. Hanif plans to speak with the state on this topic. He'd also like to see leaders eliminate the 80% usage requirement. Brett Backley, ABC6 News.